Digital illustration shouldn't be scary. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fun, quick floral pattern that you can use as wallpaper for your digital device. So, your phone. Hey friends, what's up? My name is Shada Campbell and today we're working on an iPad in a program called Procreate. And the first thing we need to do is make our canvas size. So I'm going to do a width of 1080 and a height of 1920. That's like a good general screen size because we're trying to create some mobile wallpaper. Um, you can see what it looks like there. Then we need to choose our background color. So we're coming over to our layers panel and we're gonna to go to background color and you could always change this or you could choose it later. I like to choose mine first and there's lots of ways to choose color on the iPad on Procreate. And what I wanna do is guide this, use the wheel, guide it into the reds and kind of choose a nice peachy pink. I find choosing my background color first really helps me to feel the overall piece, uh, the illustration. Then still in my layers panel, I'm creating a couple extra layers. From there, I need to select my pen or my brush. So I go to the brush icon. I'm going to the inking section and we're going to scroll down to dry ink. That is one of my favorite brushes and I use it quite often when I'm drawing digitally. Then on the left hand side here, you've got a little slider. It helps you select your brush size. So just figure out what feels good to you. And finally, we can choose the color of the uh, brush that we're going to. And you can see I have green right now. We'll click on that and we can, just like we did for the background color, move it however, and say I just select a nice dark brown or something just for example. I've already got uh, a couple extra layers made. So now I can start playing around, drawing on that background color and kind of coming up with some ideas. But we're going to go sit at my my desk and we're going to talk about how to create a floral pattern. We're going to create a really simple pattern today, probably one that's made up of just two flowers. And the first flower I want to create is kind of like a forget-me-not. So I'm going to bring my uh, brush pen into the blue here, kind of pick a nice medium gray blue. And we'll just zoom in so you can really see what I'm doing. I'm going to start with a circle and then draw three petals across the top, two more at the bottom. So really, really simple looking flower. And then you can color in each petal by just uh, clicking on the circle and dragging over to the area you need filled, or you can just color in like I do, sort of messy. And I kind of like filling in myself because I can leave a little negative space and it, it kind of looks a little more whimsical and perfectly imperfect, just my style. Okay, so there I've done a cluster of three little blue flowers. Let's make a second layer. Click the plus and I'm going to drag it underneath. So my second layer sits underneath the first. I'm going to pick a nice warm green here and we're just going to draw some stems and kind of um, join all these flowers together and of course add a couple little delicate leaves. Remember when you're using that pen the pressure matters. If you want a bit of a thinner line just lighten up on the pressure a little. That looks pretty cute. I'm going to go back up to my blue layer. You could create a new layer for this as well. Pick a nice sort of creamy orange, so orange that's a little lighter. We'll fill in the center of our flowers and there, that's actually looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. The, the center flower is a little large, so let me show you how I would change that without redoing it. To begin, I'm just gonna make this into one layer, just because, <laughs> you don't have to do this. I click on the layers panel, top layer, select, and then click merge down. Then I'm coming over here to the left icons and I click the selection icon. I'm going to freehand select that flower, select the final icon on the left, which is the transform. It's the arrow. You're able to reconfigure, resize that, and it looks great. That just helps me to kind of get everything just ticky-boo. <laughs> I might have to uh, thicken up my green line a little bit there. That's fine. And then there is my illustration complete. So that's the flower that's going to to make up uh, part of our pattern. One thing I want to do is I'm just uh, going to add a little bit of darker blue here around the center of each flower. If you go to the colors panel and you look at your history, your blue that you've used is there and you can just darken it ever so slightly and I think that looks great. So now we have our flower. Let's go back to the transform icon. We're going to resize it slightly. 
and then we're coming back to our layers. We're going to swipe to the left and click duplicate, swipe to the left and duplicate and do that as many times as you want. And then when we go to the transform, we click on transform and uh, select your layer, select transform and you can kind of move them all around and you can see how easy it is to create a little bit of a pattern. So select your layer, select that uh, arrow icon on the left for transform and you're just able to move it. You could make some of them smaller. That could be part of your pattern play. You can, um, you know, move them around a little. That can be part of how you're creating a pattern. There's a lot you can do with select and transform. Although frankly, for this part, I'm only using the transform tool and I am not resizing at all. That's not part of my pattern today. I am just moving. I am just putting some of them upside down. I am angling some of them a little different. So that's kind of the fun of working digitally is that you can make all these changes and you're still working with your own illustration. And you can see how this pattern is coming together um, really, really easily. Now what we're going to do is basically just do the whole thing over again and make this pattern really pop with a second flower. And I think that flower, I am going to make it pink. So let's create another layer. I go to the layers panel. We'll create two more layers. Then we're coming over here to the color. We're going to drag our slider into the reds and get a nice kind of magenta, like a dusty magenta. <laughs> And uh, I am just going to draw a, a little U shape with that sort of scalloped bottom. Let's zoom in so you can really see a uh, nice upside down U and then a, kind of a wiggly bottom. We'll drag the color in. You can if you want, or you can scribble in like I did for the blue flowers. Go to your color, just lighten that pink up slightly, maybe make your brush a little hint smaller. And then I'm just going to put some simple stripes on that flower. So that one is so simple, but she looks cute. We'll come up to our layers panel, select the layer below, the other layer that you made. You wanna be working in the layer underneath. And we're going to add a really simple curving stem, maybe one or two leaves. And that is it for our second flower. And I really am just gonna do the same exact thing over for this one. So we come up to our layers panel, select the top layer, merge down. Now you have one and you can swipe to the left and click duplicate, make a bunch of those, come up and click on the transform arrow icon on the top left here. And we're just able to move them around, transform them by resizing or putting them upside down, whatever you like. I am not resizing mine. I want them all to be the same size so that's why I keep having to <laughs> double uh, double finger touch helps me to go back to just kind of do like a command Z um, so that's what's happening there but I'm just moving them around angling some of them a little different and I've come up with a really simple but I think really sweet summer pattern that's gonna look really pretty as um, a backdrop on my phone. And you can get this as a backdrop on your phone too if you are a channel patron. This is this week's bonus content. Last week we actually did another digital illustration tutorial. The bonus video for the month of June is how to draw a blue bonnet with brush pen, with marker, but also on the iPad. So it was kind of like a one flower, two ways. So check out that video patrons that is there for you to enjoy as well as this mobile wallpaper. And if you're not a patron of the channel, consider it. It's only $2 a month and you can sign up for as long or as short as you like. It's a great way to support this channel. Thanks for watching friends. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. It helps us out so much when you do that one little thing. I hope you found this digital illustration simple and straightforward forward. Drop those questions in the comments below and I'll try to answer as best I can. See you soon.